So one of the big differences in coated versus uncoated is how they absorb the ink and how that looks. And to show that, what we're going to do is we're going to take a drop of water and we're going to put it on the table here to show you how that water sits on top of the table. We take that same drop of water and we put it on a paper towel and it grows. Um, that's called dot gain. And so that affects how the piece looks when it's printed. For coated paper, you want to use coated paper to help your images look sharper. You also want to use coated paper for fine detail. On the uncoated paper, if you use it for fine detail, the same font, which is used on both of these pieces, can get smaller and it can get muddy. So when considering one of these papers, we need to look at price. And actually, coated is cheaper than uncoated in most situations, which most people think is the opposite. The second thing is uncoated paper takes longer to dry. We can usually cut or fold a coated piece in a day. Uh, uncoated can take two or three days, so if it's something you need a really tight turn on, it's something you can consider for your printing project. The last thing is just consider the purpose. Do you want the glossy look? Do you want the uncoated look? And that's kind of the first step. Is price a consideration in that? And do you have the time to make that uncoated uh, piece dry where you can cut it and fold it and you don't spoil the piece? That's our 60 seconds of print knowledge today with 360 Press Solutions.